Marie's takeaway is feeling the crunch. She used to open throughout the day, but soaring costs mean they can now only afford to open at night. We've been struggling since the pandemic started and we're exhausted trying to keep the business going. So where do we get the money for this? How do they actually honestly think that a small company can survive this? Let's give it another year and I don't think there'll be a small business left. What's making costs rise? Well, food prices, the increase in minimum wage, fuel prices, the national insurance hike, and the end of VAT relief are all combining and putting pressure on businesses, which is then filtered down to the customer. Oi. Glasgow restaurant block is known for its cheap prices, but they're warning eating out will soon become unaffordable. In the last couple of weeks, cooking oil and chicken has tripled nearly. It's really, really expensive. And cooking oils went up about £10 in the last two months. This is the highest I've seen prices since I've been in cooking. We're struggling and everybody else is struggling to source products for a cheap price. And we use a lot of imported products for Asian stuff, Mexican stuff. That's a real, real struggle to get these days. I ate out on Monday night uh, for the first time in quite a while. Uh, took myself and my daughter and yeah, I have to say, I did notice quite a jump. So we've noticed it's a bit more expensive to eat out. I mean, we both uh, recently retired, actually, so we are a bit more uh, frugal now, and we, you know, we're, we are trying to sort of look at places that are, that you know, things food costs a little bit less. Although it's not going to stop me eating out, definitely not. Uh, it might prevent me going out so often. And it's not just restaurants feeling the pinch. It's like a perfect storm at the moment. Everything's coming through. We're uh, we're seeing increases in our products, sometimes weekly. Obviously the diesel price and, and uh, heat and light and this month national insurance and various other things. So uh, it just feels like a bit of a perfect storm. So we're kind of uh, just paddling away, trying to keep up with it. On top of all of this, there is the global market pressure from the fallout from the war in Ukraine. We're seeing some of the um, sort of supply chain disruptions and so on that are feeding through to particularly certain types of food um, products, um, given um, you know the, the huge amount of exports that Ukraine has in that sort of area. The spike in energy bills is expected to make prices rise even more. The Bank of England predicts that inflation could peak at around 8% in April, meaning more costs for businesses and consumers to swallow. Polly Bartlett, STV News.